Every year in late August, just as students are beginning to arrive for the fall semester, one of VIU's student groups is seeing the result of months of work come to fruition. On this overcast evening in late August at the Nanaimo Regional Airport, two refugee students are arriving to begin their new life in Vancouver Island, thanks to the World University Services of Canada, or WUSC. I met up with Tracy Vandermullen, the International Projects Manager at VIU, to tell me more. So today I'm here supporting the VIU WUSC Committee. Uh, WUSC stands for World University Service of Canada, and it's a national network that VIU is really proud to be a part of. One of the, we do lots of different things on campus. But something that we do is support incoming student refugees, so the SRP program. So today we're here, it's the arrival day. A lot of work has gone on behind the scenes to make today happen. And we work with a big group of students to welcome student refugees. We work really closely with Canadian national networks who are chosen these students and then we get their file. So a few months ago, we got their file from all of this. These are the two students we're welcoming today, Nesteo and Mariama. And then from there, everything comes into action. So we've been uh, meeting all through the summer. We meet weekly all through the school year. And there's committees planning, okay, what do we need to do for their arrival? What kind of documents do we need to make sure we have ahead of time? You know, what kind of snacks do we need to have in their residence room? Um, every little detail has been taken care of. So when they come off the plane tonight, we're just welcoming them. And it's gonna be very seamless. And they're just welcome to Nanaimo. It's moments like this when the students come in person that make all the difference. Hanan, a past sponsorship recipient, explained what it's like to arrive in Nanaimo for the first time. I was happy, scared, because it's a new place. I was happy because, you know, I mean, I'm abroad, you know, you know, but I was scared because I wasn't sure, like, how is it going to be? Am I going to fit in? Yeah, it, are people going to be so different from where I come from? Yeah, and people were different, and yeah, it was fun. Back on campus, I connected with Sarah and Kiara, two of WUS co-chairs, to discuss what WUSC is, its history, and what it does from a student's perspective. WUSC is a Canadian nonprofit humanitarian organization. Um, there's chapters in many universities across Canada. The Student Refugee Program um, is a program we do here at VIU, and we sponsor refugees from um, African countries and the Middle East that are facing refugee crises um, to come to Canada. They get permanent residency in Canada and they um, will complete a bachelor's degree at VIU and we sponsor them for all of their expenses for the first 12 months that they are in Canada. WUSC has been on campus uh, at VIU for the last 15 years. It was started by four Global Studies students um, and every year since 2008, uh, we have sponsored two uh, refugee students to, to come to VIU. So that's about 30 students now that we've sponsored and we support them to get integrated into Canadian society, get them set up in their life in Canada and help them you know, get into their courses at VIU and uh, make new friends and everything like that. So we have a student levy. A lot of campuses across Canada have a student levy to support the SRP program. And at VIU, it's $5. So it's included in everyone's tuition payments, $5 annually. And that contributes a lot of money towards supporting refugee students to come study at VIU. And I mean, that's often less than the amount you would pay for parking a day or going to Starbucks at a time. So. Five bucks goes a very long way. To complete my journey learning about WUSC, I chatted with Salem Abdullah, a recent graduate who came to VIU in 2018 through WUSC. Sal, who was forced to give up his studies to flee the Syrian civil war, told me how it felt to finally graduate thanks to WUSC. I, I went to university in Syria in 2011 and 2012. Uh, so when I left Syria, um, I've already actually completed my first year in English literature. And so having um, to not complete my university, being forced to leave my country and everything behind without completing my degree, which is something I wanted to, uh, and then having the chance to um, have a degree in the field that I've always wanted to study in Canada. And it's just very significant. It's uh, from 2011 to 2012. And then to 2003, that's, that's a dream coming true after 12 years. Uh, so it was, 
It, it's one of those moments that you, it, it's one of those moments that words cannot do justice. And so, as our new classmates leave the airport and begin the new wave of their life in Canada, it's important to remember, be patient, be kind, and most of all, learn from one another. Because when we all work together, we lift each other up. For The Nav, I'm Mike Duddy.